Hello Internet, my name is Quinn and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we're working on the electric steam boiler project, which is a small boiler for powering model steam engines. And I've written extensively about that on my blog, so uh, I'll link to that down in the uh, show notes there in the description. Go ahead and check that out for all the details. But today we're going to be focusing on the thermo switch on the end. Uh, we're going to dress that up a little bit and uh, try to uh, hide the wiring. So let's dive in. So the problem we're trying to solve is to dress up this end of boiler a little bit. So this guy right here is the thermo switch. Let me get that focused better for you. This guy uh, controls the uh, turning on and off of the heating element at the other end. And it's got these wires that come out of it. And the real catch here is it's got this adjuster screw on it. Now this adjuster screw is really important. We have to be able to access this because this controls the set point of the heating element and by extension the uh, stable pressure that we have on the boiler. So we want to be able to, you know, adjust the range of this pressure between, you know, maybe 5 and 50 psi. So, but I want to, I want to kind of hide this stuff because I don't like the way it looks. So my thought was I'll use this nice little copper pipe here and I'll put an elbow here and then I'll run a vertical piece down into the base down here and uh, the wiring can then run under the base to the other end where the electronics are. Uh, that's all fine and good except if I put this elbow on here and run the wires through it you can see that I lose access to the screw here. So uh, the solution I came up with for that is uh, imagine this bolt is an adjuster knob that I'm going to make uh, this knob is going to fit over the end of this adjuster screw here. There's a like a screwdriver slot here that we can key into. And then this knob will run out the back of the uh, elbow, like so. So the knob will come all the way out here, uh, running inside the elbow like that. And then the wiring can then run uh, down through the bottom of the elbow, and they won't interfere with each other. So that's the plan. Let's see how it works out. All right, we're going to start by facing off the stock here because we're going to need a uh, support on the end. So uh, we're going to be uh, center drilling for the tail stock. And here we are center drilling with uh, number two center drill into our nice now square end thanks to the facing operation. And here's a little trick. I'm marking off the uh, boundaries of my part uh, just by scraping into the uh, oxide on the outside of the brass with the calipers. And now we're going to take our first uh, skim coat, just enough to get through that oxide on the outside. Now I'm going to check my dimension. So this is, this is going to give us our starting point, uh, so we know how much we need to take off. long way to go. All right, now we're making some chips. So this is a, this is a, a hundred thou pass, a fifty thou depth of cut on each side, uh, which you know is probably the upper limit of this machine. Uh, but uh, brass is pretty easy to cut and tool is sharp. Just a little bit of cutting oil there, just getting warm down close to the end. And then as we get down to the end here, I am going to throw out the clutch and bring it up to the line by hand. And on this finishing pass, uh, I'm going to stop everything, not move anything, just in case I need to make a, another real light pass and uh, clean off the work in the anvils there for an accurate measurement. And uh, just check our hopefully final dimension. We came in about uh, seven ten thousandths over, so I will take that all day. And now we're going to throw in our knurling on the on the uh, grippy part. This is a scissor type knurling tool, which is much preferable to the bumper push type, which is pretty hard on the spindle bearings of the lathe. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that how that turned out. I'm not the greatest knurler, but it turned out good enough. And then 
just got to part it off. I like to put a paper towel down there just to catch the part so it doesn't land in the chip tray. And looking good. Just got a little nub on the back side that we just got to file off. Okay, over to the mill now to uh, first prepare the copper elbow. So using the edge finder here, I can find uh, spots on all four sides of our copper pipe opening there. And uh, once it bumps over, I've got the edge. And now that we're nice and centered, I can go ahead and make that cut downwards. Now you can do this with an end mill. You could not do this with a drill bit because a drill bit is not rigid like an end mill is. A drill bit would walk all over the place. There we go. Alright, and our last operation is to make that screwdriver tab thing on the end of the knob that'll key into the thermo switch. So I uh, made a little uh, quick and dirty fixture here to do that, since this knob is kind of hard to hold now. Uh, on the far side of it, there is uh, a slot cut for compression. And here's the final knob. It's looking uh, pretty sharp. You can see a little remnant of the center hole from earlier in there, but uh, otherwise pretty pleased with how that turned out. And here's the final result. So you can see how the knob goes through the elbow there and it keys into the thermo switch inside. And uh, intentionally there's a bit of an air gap there between the thermo switch and the elbow because I don't want the heat from the boiler, which is considerable, to conduct back into that elbow any more than uh, necessary uh, because that's going to potentially overheat that wiring. And there we go. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, go ahead and sign up on Patreon. There's a link down there in the description. And uh, all my Patreon patrons get access to exclusive private video content on a regular basis, uh, very much like what you've seen here. So uh, I encourage you to go uh, click through there onto Patreon and sign up to support Blondie Hacks. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.